So last time we worked on the bus, I said I was going to do spark plugs. Well, today's the day. I'm going to change the spark plugs on this bus and uh, see if it makes it run any better. It already runs great, so I can't imagine it'll make it run any better. But those look like the stock spark plugs, and it's not going to hurt to change them. So hang out with me, and we will change those spark plugs today. So I thought I'd be able to get to all eight spark plugs from the doghouse, but that is not the case. I can get to the back four through the doghouse, and it looks like the other front four I'm going to have to get from underneath the vehicle. So before I start tearing this stuff apart, I'm going to pull the van, bus, uh, up on ramps. That way it make it easier for me to get underneath it. to the air conditioner we are underneath a uh, heat advisor again today so I'm gonna take my spark plugs and I'm gonna uh, make sure they're gapped I believe they're pre gapped but I'm gonna make sure that the gap is correct on them uh, you never know I couldn't find my my spark plug gauge so I'm just gonna have to use my feeler gauges hopefully they're all they all check out all right, so I'm just gonna go through and make sure the gap is good on them. These are the iridium plugs. I uh, don't know if I should have went with them or, this is what Napa gave me. So that's what I'm gonna go with. All right, so you get on Google and you get all kinds of stupid answers. So anywhere between 40 thousandths and 60 thousandths seems acceptable. GM did have them at 60 thousandths and I believe that is actually what that gap is. If that is 60 thousandths, then I'm just gonna leave it at 60 thousandths and run it. It's got a uh, new coil on it. It has new plug wires. The uh, So the 60 thousandths gap should not be too hard on brand new coil. Um, somebody in some forum stated that they changed the spark plug gap to 40 thousandths after a radium plugs come out. I don't know. You, you know, you get on Google and you can't find a straight answer. So if these are gapped at 60 thousandths, that's what I'm putting in there. All right, 60 thousandths here. And that is what they're gapped at, it's 60. So that's what I'm gonna run. I'm gonna run them at 60, 60 thousandths. If I'm wrong for that, then uh, let me know. All right, these appear to be older. Just by looking at the box, I believe these are older. I'm gonna put these in the rear where it's easier to get to and put these in the front. So they're all the same, the same number there. They're all, they're all gapped to 60 thousandths and that's what I'm gonna run them. All right. So it takes the good old 5 8 spark plug wrench or socket. But as you can see, my spark plug doesn't have the rubber in it anymore to pull the thing out. So after I break it loose, I'll use an old spark plug boot, stuff on there, and I can I can loosen up the old ones and I can tighten in the new ones. So I always keep a uh, old spark plug boot just, just for my spark plugs. You have to pull the plug out while the motor's hot and really save your hands from getting burned doing that, so. All right, so I'll start here on the passenger side. Middle of your screen is the spark plugs. Well, crap, hold on, dude. Hard to get in here with this door operator. You know, one thing about it being a bus, I can lay down for me to tell when I get it. Oh, I'm a pain in the 
blood. All right, something broke loose. Now, if I use my spark plug boot, all these spark plugs are so close to these manifolds, I'd almost think if I put headers on it, it would be better. So you can see the plug there. It definitely uh, is showing its age. I truly believe that these are the original plugs. Never hurts to take a comparison just to make sure. Well, let's go in blind and uh, get this in the hole. Oh, 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 I think I got it. That is really hard to do when you can't be. Okay, sorry about that. I ran out of memory and had to look back and see where I left off. I got the new spark plug threaded in. If I pull the boot off of it now, my goodness. Get this one behind the dipstick. That one's gonna suck. Dang. Well, that sucks. Pulled the daggum spark plug wire apart. Crap -o. Oh, I'd much rather do fabrication than mechanic work. Alright, I don't know if you can see in there or not. I got the socket on it. The moral of this story is, don't make things harder than they need to be. I believe I can get on every one of the spark plugs through the wheel well. I need to go see if I can find that uh, box of plug wires. Napa brand. Brand new box of plug wires. All right, so I don't know why I was overthinking it. You look up there, you can see all the spark plugs through the wheel well. All right, so yeah, I was overthinking it. So I'm gonna start pulling spark plug boots and changing spark plugs out. It looks like it's about to start raining. It may rain me out. So I'm gonna try to hurry up and get this stuff done. You may miss out on just a little bit of stuff, but not too much. It's changing spark plugs. I'm pulling boots, changing the plugs out. The thing you probably wanted to see was how do you get to the spark plugs? And well, I just answered that for you. All right, so it's been about a week. We got quite a bit of rain. It's been stinking hot. We had Independence Day, and uh, well, I've just not been very motivated to get out in the heat and do this. So I left off, well, I'll just show you. So I was changing the spark plug wires. And in changing the spark plug wires, look at this over here where you can see it. I pushed up to change this spark plug wire, and oh man, look. Let me pop this off here and I'll uh, show you why. Oh, okay. Let's spin you around over the top here. They're just about dead center. How that little tab is broken. Apparently, that is a very common problem. So I have a kind of a fix it thing from Dorman. Hopefully I'll get it by the time this video is done. For now, I'm just gonna go ahead and finish changing the plugs and the wires. And if that bracket gets here in time, then I will install right, it too. So I don't know if you can tell, but it's hot again today. I mean, look at my, whew. 
um it's just that time of year humidity's up and uh it's hot all right so i just pulled the uh coil wire off i'm gonna put this little insulation insulated sheaf thing back on it it's whatever it's called on there so since every electronic component on this bus was corroded had you know gray fuzz on it whatever i'm using the dielectric grease on everything i mean this is pretty common to use dielectric grease on spark plug boots so it shouldn't be anything surprising here just gonna put a little dab in here in each boot Do all right clicked in there and i'm gonna bring it underneath the transmission dipstick and i uh, clicked in there all right spin that around tuck it up in there pretty good there we go. All right. Now I'll move on to number two cylinder. And I'll change that plug and wire. It's hot. Popsicles make everything better. Oh, look, you can see them all. You can see every one of the plugs from the wheel wells on this. So, passenger side is completed. It did fire up and run, even with the uh, distributor cap not fastened all the way on, but I guess it's been like that since I got it, so I'm not surprised. So the first thing I'm going to do is pull off all of this rubber crap there. When I do the solid axle swap, I'm not going to have room for that junk anyway, so I'm just going to go ahead and rip it out of there. Got one bolt, I think, and then, uh, yeah, one bolt there. And then I'll just rip the rest of it out. So glad I don't have to do it from here. Okay, so the first thing to do is to go through here and pop open all these clips. That will start on number seven. Try to pop this boot off. It'll be tough. Right there, I just cannot get a grip on it. Plug number seven, wire off. Here's the plug out of it. You can see those things look like they came over on the Mayflower. All right, so I've got a wobbly socket or a wobbly extension. It don't wobble much, but it does enough and I can get it through the wheel well. All right, that's tight, but I left a little O-ring on there, I think, for my, no, it's not on there. Okay, that works. Get a little grease in them. first I don't know how that's gonna work it's hard to get in there and do that thing I think I got it first try oh. I'll bolt the camera but there's not a whole lot of room in here I think I think that may be on there Right. Spin this thing up underneath the old wires. Number seven is done. All right, cylinder number. Oh, 
that'd be five, I guess. I think that'd be five. I'll pop this boot off. Yep. Popped it right off. plug. Alright. Oh, a little too much in that one. I guess it's going to hurt anything. So I'll get back with you whenever I get done or the mosquitoes run me off. At least that one's not wet. Still smells like gas though. All Everything's buttoned up. Looks good. Let's try to give it a start here. I think I got the keys. I do not. Let's walk over here in Suburban. I forgot I had to go somewhere. Alright, here we go. Woo. I think it had some pressure on it, didn't it? So, plugs and the wires are done. I'm still waiting on that little bracket that goes around the uh, around the distributor there and uh, fastens that uh, cap down tight. So hopefully, that'll come in in the next couple days and I'll get to put that on. All right, so that part came in. Let's see, I, I got stuff everywhere. The shop is a mess. But, this part came in, you can see it there, but I really believe it's supposed to have two screws, I don't know why it's only got one. So I'm going to try to find another one of these screws and uh, put this thing to use. Alright, so this thing may fix some problems, but first that one's stripped out. So now I gotta find some other ones to replace it with that are bigger. And that sucker right there is bent. So, Dorman, why in the world can't you thread those with machine threads and give us some machined bolts? I mean, come on. All right, so got that bit. <laughs> Undo that bolt. Or it's all right. I don't need it. All right. Let's make sure that's in there good. All right. That's all right. That'll give you a little better view. So the way this bracket is made, it's made for you to hang on to leaning over the engine on a 
regular vehicle but you can see here it'll line right up it's got this little notch that fits in here oops Something. All right. You can see that pulled the uh, pulled it down good. So now I'll go over the top of the distributor with this screw that is stripped out. distributor is tight so i really feel like that doorman fix it thing is a piece of junk it looks like it's going to be a one-time use only um you know you could probably find the right size bolt that is a uh, machine thread that's like a self-tapping machine thread would probably work better than these wood screws they give you first one i stripped out and then well You've seen all that mess. So that, for 20, 25 bucks, however much I spent on that, it's really a piece of crap. Dorman, do better. But you can see here how it works. It goes through the distributor cap, through the distributor, to the bracket. And then you may be able to see back here, um, in the very back, you can see that screw in the back. And you see it's pretty close to the intake. But that's on there now. Hopefully I don't have to undo it. If so, I'll try to figure something else out. I may uh, drill that Dorman bracket out and put some rib nuts in there for the right size machine thread, but. All right, so that's where this video is gonna end. I appreciate y'all watching. If you don't mind, give it a like, a subscribe and share. I'd really like the, the bus content to pick up a little bit. So if you don't mind, you know somebody that's got a school bus, share this with them. You know somebody that's turning a school bus into a camper if they have a youtube channel share that in the comments i'd like to i like to check out other people's buses so hopefully before long all of this will be out i think that's going to be my next project is to remove all these seats and pull the interior out of it and get it ready for the conversion thank y'all for watching i appreciate it y'all have a good one